sound of surging water of Mana River, with its treacherous rapids can be heard from a distance. Manas is located in western part of the state of Assam in India, and it is known as Mana to the locals, christened after the river Mana that rushes down from the Bhutan hills on its eastern border. Manas covers an area of 519 square kilometers, and it was declared a national park in 1928, and later it was also recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985. Assam in the northeast of India has as many as five national parks and other wildlife sanctuaries. Manas bordering Bhutan was declared a tiger reserve in 1973. Manas is famous because it is home to a large number of globally threatened species such as the Asian elephant, Asiatic wild water buffalo, Indian one horned rhinoceros, tiger, the gore, golden langur, and among the birds there is the critically endangered Bengal florican. Manas was inscribed as a world heritage site in the year 1985. However, in the year 1992, because of the disturbed situation, it was downlisted as a world heritage site in danger. Situation, however, is slightly improved and uh, is slowly improving. With its lush and variegated vegetation, Manas comprises of different types of forests, harboring and sustaining different faunal species. The forest type ranges from mixed deciduous semi-evergreen, eastern barbersal forest, to low alluvial savanna woodlands, and western alluvial grassland. Manas is home to the rare and critically endangered species of bird known as Bengal florican, of which only 400 survive in the world and about 50 of them are found at Manas National Park. Resident birds include college peasant, the great pied hornbill can be seen in its flight, pied harrier. It is also a home to about 500 different species of birds. This World Heritage Site was in danger, but now the richness and beauty of nature is gradually returning and it is our duty to preserve it. Wanton illegal logging has taken an immense toll on the forest in Manus and its resources. Trees are cut down by timber smugglers and log rafts are transported down the river to illegal sawmills. Sometimes logs are seized by forest rangers, but still the menace of illegal logging has not been stopped. The rain ushers in a new life cycle with new vigor and spirit. Monsoon rain regenerates the forest, plants start growing, stream begins to swell. The rain brings life-sustaining water to the forest. Manas is the single most ideal habitat of the endangered golden langur. Langur being arboreal, lives in the trees almost throughout its life. They may be frolicsome, but they have an organized social life. They are thriving and their numbers are on the rise. There is a growing awareness among the people now and once Manas regains its lost glory, it will bring cheer to the wildlife enthusiasts as well as to the casual visitor. Conservation and symbiosis are part of the folk life of the people now. Such participation of the community will go a long way not only in bringing Manus back to its own glory, but in the sustainable growth of such other sites. And such process will help other such endangered species like this Bengal florican chick to thrive in the wild again. As the chick is released, it rushes out in the open to be part of nature as it was meant to be. It will soon walk into adulthood and roam free in resurgent manners. <laughs>